So we've got an asthmatic rocker who needs to charge their phone and is worried about the f Huh, this person's lame. What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the spiciest show on the internet. My name is Riley Zone, joined by my icy co-host, Dignan. <laughs> Today we're emptying people's pockets. This is Guess the Rapper from the GQ Things They Can't Live Without. If you didn't see the first one, this is how it's gonna work. You've probably seen those GQ videos where a celebrity goes on and discusses the things they can't live without, their essentials. We're gonna see four of those essentials and guess which rapper it was. One point for each one we get right, me versus Diggy versus you. Dustin in Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm gonna be dusting up your ashes after this one. <laughs> He's gonna incinerate you. Before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you wanna see more, hivemytv.com for our merch. Also, we've got a collection over on Cope's website, that's linked in description, and we've got a second channel now. Hive Mind Unlimited, please subscribe. We've also got our Patreon and our Cameo linked in description as usual. And lastly, before we get into the video, today's video is brought to you by our sponsor, Manscaped. Manscaped. Leader in the below the waist grooming, we'll talk about them a little later in the video. Thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring once again. All right, first one, we've got what seems to be a do-rag. Waves. We've got an orange. Oral B toothbrush. Oral. Pedialyte. So maybe somebody who likes to drink a lot, kind of a hangover cure. Those are disgusting. And then Lunchables pizza. Also disgusting. <laughs> Those are like, yeah, they actually are pretty disgusting. Oh uh, yeah. It's mostly based on the dough. It's like kind of cardboard. It almost tastes like a coaster. It's like mini prison food. <laughs> yeah. Like a mini prison. <laughs> Juvie. <laughs> Middle school. <laughs> Who needs a toothbrush, by the way? You know what I mean? It's 2022. I just go to the dentist every morning. I just eat flavor blasted goldfish. They kind of work. Wait, they like clean your teeth? Yeah, it's kind of like baking soda or something. <laughs> I don't think so, man. Mm -hmm. Can Pretty you see sure. your teeth real quick? Oh my God, so orange. Oh my lo my Lord, very <laughs> orange, wow. Yeah, it's nice, right? No, it's, it's scary. <laughs> Smell my breath? It smells amazing, actually. Right? What the heck? Right? It literally smells like lavender or something. Three, two, one. Ski Mask the Slump God? ASAP Rocky? It is Ski Mask the Slump God. Oh, yeah, the do-rag gave it away. Yeah, you know? he yeah. do be wearing it. Mm -hmm. Never has it off. Some people say he doesn't even have a top of his skull. Oh, like no scalp. He's huh? like Mojo Jojo. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, you can just see it in his brain. We filmed the first one of these over a year ago, by the way, and I've made it a point not to watch any of the new ones. Yeah. So that I'm just guessing based off general knowledge of people and mm -hmm. not like having seen a video and remembering. Yeah, yeah. So. and I have a subscription to GQ, but it's just to have laying around. Oh, to like appear suave in some way? Yeah, I don't want people to know that I usually just wake up in like a frantic anxiety, like fever dream and yeah. just kind of like run into the nearest clothes near me, <laughs> like, oh! and I'm out the door. So right, right. People are like, wow, he's edgy. He's doing this on purpose. Yeah, it's intentional. <laughs> All right, next one. Uh, some Remy Martin. VSOP. We got a gold watch. Gold on my watch. So it's probably Trinidad James. Yeah, it could be. AirPods. And then we've got, what is this? That's the thing that you, like a humidifier kind of deal? It's a portable steamer. Portable steamer. For clothes. Yeah, get your Oh, it's a up. clothes steamer. Mm. That's nice. That is nice. It's kind of like you graduate. Like, Squirtle is a lint roller. Yeah. And Blastoise <laughs> is like a personal <laughs> steamer. Squirtle's a fucked up word. Oh, yeah. That, the fact that that's a Pokemon. Squirtle. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. Fetty Wap. That's what I put. It is Fetty Wap. Mm -hmm. Remy Fetty boys. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. 1748. 38. <laughs> Oh, 1738, my bad. Did we redo <laughs> that? No, that's so funny. <laughs> it's it's way funnier. So 1792. <laughs> <laughs> A little later, I couldn't afford the old stuff. <laughs> Wow, my bad. 1748, what am I doing with my life, bro? How can you not live without your watch? That's such a weird thing to put in there. You, I've never seen you without a watch. It's not true. I wear my watch maybe four days a week. Let me see it. Oh, yep, you got the G-Shock on. Yeah. You ever seen me with a watch? I'm on a different type of timing. I'm okay. just saying it's a weird thing to not be able to live without. Well, you got, gotta be able to tell the time. <sighs> to me, it's just kind of like, whatever. Some days it matters and others it, it still matters. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. And you're late to work, and you gotta get there. Next one. Ooh, I love this stuff. This is Argon Oil. I get that brand for all of like my shampoo, my conditioner, everything. Then we got a trench coat. Yeah, that's what that is. It's like a pea coat trench coat, kind of like a chic detective. Double-breasted, yeah, Sherlock Holmes-esque. Burberry trench coat. Burberry trench coat, you smoke oregano, I'm smoking on that cat piss. <laughs> A black lighter, uh -huh. and then a deck of cards. Interesting. Had a trading oil. You don't want to use petroleum oil in the bedroom. Yeah, no, no way. It's too expensive. Yeah. I thought my boat got bad gas. You finish, you're like, thanks, Joe Biden. <laughs> Three, two, one. Rocky? Cardi B. This is Brent Fiaz. Ah, he yeah. wear the 
yeah. trench coat. Yeah, the sultry. So is the is the cards like loves to play poker or something? He just said he loves having taking cards on him. Oh. You see that playing spades or something? Yeah. Pop up euchre. Probably loves euchre. Everyone loves euchre, especially yeah. like people outside of Michigan in the Midwest. <laughs> people all over the coasts, other countries. They, they know. all know what euchre is. Uh -huh. They know the rules of it and yeah. they love to play it. Yeah, and it's kind of like the cards kind of play themselves. Yeah. Have you heard about the new BDSM rapper that's out? Mm -mm. The music's all right, but they just keep rapping about whips, chains, and power. <laughs> all right, next one. We've got... Oh, hell yeah. A black solo cup. Mm -hmm. We've got a Yankees fitted. We've got... Uts chips. Uts. <laughs> Is it Uts? Or I always see them. I've gotten them before. They're pretty I think good. It's just Uts. 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 Red Hot chips. And Frank's Red Hot. This is someone I would get along with. Yeah, somebody who loves hot food. Yeah. So you always need a black solo cup on you. Is that just in your pocket? <laughs> like, how are you getting that around? Everywhere? Maybe you keep a bag in the car. They can't keep it in their car. They're from New York. Nobody drives there. I drove the subway my last time in New York. You drove the subway? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? The pilot was drunk and passed out, the and it was pilot of the subway. <laughs> it was a runaway train, never coming back. Soul Asylum, whatever. Yeah, and Soul I, Asylum, yeah. I had to climb up to the top while it was moving, go into the cockpit, through the drunk, passed out pilot to the side. <laughs> Finished what liquor he didn't, and then I drove that baby. I landed it straight on the Hudson. Is this <laughs> upside down? Whoosh, inverted the bird and landed it on the Hudson. So this is literally like a combination of the movie Flight and the one about the Sully or whatever. What? It's like Denzel Washington Flight. You just kind of took the plot of that mixed with. He had nothing Sully. to do with the train. I know, but you're calling it the pilot, the cockpit. You said you landed it on the Hudson. <laughs> <laughs> I did land it on the. I had to Turk take a 90 degree turn outside of the tunnel and we blasted through the wall of the subway and we went through the earth like a mole. <laughs> <laughs> we dug through the earth. And then as I got out, there's a lot of space. The subway's here, the city's here, the Hudson's here, and we <laughs> out the side of the cliff. Like <laughs> I inverted that, well, I inverted the worm, I guess. Inverted the worm. You inverted the worm, yeah. <laughs> I landed it <laughs> safely on the water. Yeah. And the, and the liquid in the Hudson woke up the drunk pilot uh -huh. and I carried them to safety. Thank you. You're such a hero. I, you tell a lot of stories that I believe. Bill de Blasio really thanked me. He was the mayor at the time and a shitbag man of a person. And I said, no, thanks, but thanks. I fucking love New York, man. Sick town. New York, New York. Three, two, one. Fabio? Lil Tecca. This is young M.A. Ah, that makes sense. God damn it. She loves the hot chips. I didn't know that. Well, that's the thing about girls. Girl like hot chip? Only thing girl know is hot chip and lie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm that's trying to like perpetuate stereotypes. That's super like a, relevant yeah, still, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sometimes if I'm too hot with my chip, I get a bad lie. Nice golf. A little past the green into the rough. Yeah. Hot chip there, pal. <laughs> oh, put a little too much mustard on it. They hate, but they broke though. Canadian young M.A., everyone. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I'm Connor. I'm here with my father. Kevin. And today we're going to be listening to Ooh by Young M.A. I want to listen to Guar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know much about Guar, but uh, I know they dress up in like crazy suits and they were super inspirational to Kid Cudi. All right, next one. Jamaican Cola, mm -hmm. Kool-Aid strawberry flavor, Eggo waffles, and Dove soap. I like this my favorite list yet. <laughs> These are truly essentials. Well, you could live off this for the rest of your life. You could not. Sure. There's no water in there. How do you think the coal is a liquid? Well, okay, <laughs> sure, fine, whatever. And then you can eat the soap and you can clean yourself with the Eggos and you use the Kool-Aid to summon the Kool-Aid man if you ever find yourself in a pinch. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. You've never <sighs> emptied out a Kool-Aid packet, made a pentagram, slit your wrists over it, and squeezed out a little blood, and then poof, Kool-Aid man appears, and you can give him one task, kind of like a me-seeks, but more satanic. Yeah. And then he'll yeah. take care of that task, mm -hmm. top you off, and then he's gone for the night. Just the way you navigate life, kind of your touch points are not similar to mine. It's becoming hard to be relatable to you. You've never done that. No, I've never made a pentagram out of Kool-Aid powder. Summon the Kool-Aid man so he can come here. I give him one task. He goes and does it, then tops me off, and he's on his way. No, that's never happened to me. Did you fucking drink it? Yeah, sometimes I drink Kool-Aid. He doesn't show up if you drink it. Don't you have something he could do? I, I'm, I, 
He's so Sorry, I've never been in a pinch and thought, hey, I really wish the Kool-Aid man was here he to has... do one task for me, then give me a blowjob. Think, man, he has infinite strength. He knows like 40 languages. He's merciless. He'll kill babies, old women, whatever is in his way. He'll destroy them. Listen. He can't be linked to the crime. I'm... You're off the hook. Listen, I'm happy for you, man. I like that you have a life that is so exciting and vibrant, but mine is just not relatable. So I'd like to get, just get back to the game. Whatever, I know this one anyway. Three, two, one. Eleven from Stranger Things. Kodak Black. <laughs> this is NLE Choppa. Damn it. Wow. How is NLE Choppa's not like crystals and kratom? Ah, I thought he. Well, maybe this was before his uh, health kick. Yeah. Hey, shout out to NLE Choppa though. You they're making a Limitless too? Really? Yeah, it's about kratom. Oh, how well, no, it's about how much kratom you have to take to feel something. Oh, so like yeah. a limitless amount. Yeah. <laughs> Next one, we've got a razor. Uh, can I get an ID on this bag here? Red Gucci duffel bag. Red Gucci duffel bag. And we've got incense. And then we've got what seems to be a cold latte. Ice latte. Mm -hmm. I'll see you latte. <clears throat> Don't try to do my thing. <laughs> I've been seeing a latte of you. You know the Starbucks downtown got so crowded that they had to open a bunch of parking lots? Mm -mm. Yeah, so I was there and they were like, yeah, you can park in lot A. In latte. I saw a hyena eat another animal at the zoo today. <laughs> Today? Yeah, broke into the penguin exhibit and shredded a few of them little penguins up. They had no chance. Okay, let me, I just have to ask a question. So far today, <laughs> you've gone golfing with Dan Marino? <laughs> Jupiter, Florida. In Florida. <laughs> yeah, the course is called Whispering Pines. And then you went to the zoo and watched a hyena devour a bunch of penguins. Yep. And then you came here to film. Yeah. It is 1.49 p.m. Eastern? Yeah. The zoo was on the west coast. The zoo was on the west coast. Yeah. The golf game was in fucking Jupiter, Florida. At Whispering Pines. And yeah. then we filmed this in Detroit. Whispering Pines actually had the the female collegiate championship there last year. It's a good track. It's public, but it, they keep it very tight. It's nice. I Gre don't care about Whispering Pines. <laughs> the greens are super true. It's almost PGA level. I don't give a shit. I'm trying to figure out your schedule. How does this work? Dan birdied three of the first four holes. He was on a heater. Yeah, I don't care about Dan. And then he had a few too many beers and he got carried away and he said some things that he might end up regretting. You know what? <laughs> what? I didn't have anything against Dan Marino before <laughs> this whole thing, Thanks. but I really hope he dies. Like, I'm serious, <laughs> and not because you're in the will you're or just, whatever you said. I don't give a shit about that. I just hope he dies, you're like, just jealous. soon, you know? You're just jealous. I'm not jealous of Dan Marino. You could never birdie three of the first four holes at Whispering Pines. Hole two is like a 185-yard par three over the water. Do you even have a club for that? What are you gonna hit, driver? I mean, Dan hit a six iron and he held back on it. Three, two, one. I put Polo G. I put Rick Ross. This is Machine Gun Kelly. Machine Really? I don't know what's happening, dude. Wow. Looks like something like that's going on with me. Yeah, you're a freak. Hey, Dignan, before we get into the next one, do you want to tell them about our sponsor, Manscaped? I sure do, Riley. That's right. Today's video is brought to you by our sponsor, Manscaped. Manscaped. The leader in below the waist grooming. And if you haven't heard yet, it's smooth sack summer. That's right. This is the summer to keep your balls cool while still looking hot. Manscaped! The Manscaped Performance Package 4.0 has everything you need to prepare your summer bod. It includes the Lawnmower 4.0, the Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer, Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, Crop Reviver Ball Toner, Performance Boxer Briefs, and a Travel Bag to hold all your goodies. The Performance Package has everything you need to make sure your package is ready for its big performance. Sup, Riley? Hey, Dignan. Did I mention that the Lawnmower 4.0 has a cutting-edge ceramic blade that helps reduce grooming accidents thanks to their skin safe technology? Not until now, I don't think you have. Well, isn't that awesome? It sounds awesome. Not to mention it's new on and off switch that can engage a travel lock and a 4000K LED light so you can shave that puppy in the dark. I love these performance boxer briefs. And they double as a signal to people that you have a smooth sack. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Like, you flash them like this, Yeah. people will know there's good things ahead. Despite your ungroomed happy trail, Stop. you got a smooth sack. I'm covering that. Dive head first into smooth sack summer by going over to manscaped.com, getting 20% off plus free shipping with our code Dignan. It's smooth sack summer, boys. Get on board or walk the plank. <laughs> <laughs> All of this and more could be yours. Go over to manscaped.com and get 20% off plus free shipping with our code Dignan. Do it now. Thank you again, Manscaped, for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into it. <gasps>
Next one, a black backpack? It's a hat bag. A hat bag. Then we've got a Bluetooth speaker. Is that a Beats pill? That's a Beats pill. Okay. Then we've got roll your own cigarettes. Just like rolling tobacco. Rolling tobacco. And then uh, is this specific kind of champagne? It is white wine. White wine. Who rolls their own cigarettes? British. Hat bag though. Chance the Rapper got that hat bag from selling those three hats. Fuck yeah, he did, dude. I'm trying to bring those back, but in like an ironic way. Like I'm talking about like dressing the most base to like witch house drainer type thing. And then just with a three hat, new era, flat bill. Fire. I think that's a fire idea. I think it's fire. I'm yeah. gonna start a four hat. Okay, just it says, it just has a four on it? No, it says like F-O-R-E. Me and Dan can wear it at Wish Spring Pines. Is that, wait, when you say four on a golf course, it's yeah. spelled F-O-R-E? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. See, I'm such an idiot. I always thought it was the number four. Nope, really? it's four. It's like a, it's like one of those, it's a word. Three, two, one. Dave? Post Malone? This is Joey Badass. Oh, really? Wow, Joey Rose's own six? That's fucking badass. That is badass, yeah. that makes sense. New York kind of is the the UK of the, of the US. They say no one's no one's ever said that. They go, hey, you know what's the UK of the US? New York City. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba, ba -da -ba -ba. Brooklyn drill, UK drill. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, next one. Blistex. So lip balm, a passport, <laughs> Fiji water, and what is this? Oh, is this one of those it's like torch lighters? It's a flambe torch. Flambe torch lighter. Yeah, you could do dabs with it. Okay, so this person might be a, like an oil head. Or they're a chef. A chef? What do chefs use this for? Flambe. What's a flambe? Like when you have a dessert or a mousse and you. Oh, okay. All right. You caramelize the fucking uh, hey, whoa, whoa's on top of the yeah. Wait a minute. Are the zodiac signs backwards in Australia? Yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so confusing. I think it's cool. Yeah. I gotta text a few people. There's people I matched with on CoStar that I just feel like it's not gonna work out then because right. they're Australian. Yeah. So. Well, it wouldn't work out either way because they're Australian. Really? Yeah. Why not? They're crazy. They're just crazy. Mm -hmm. Just all Australians. You're yeah. willing to stereotype an entire country of people. Yeah, it's not that many people there. Probably maybe, I don't know, 10 million? Stereotyping 10 million people is just flat out wrong. I'm gonna stop you right there. You know, I let you get away with a lot of <laughs> shit on this show. I'm not gonna let you stereotype 10 million people. Shout out to my Aussies out there. I love you guys. I'm so sorry about him. Kangaroo Jack. Jack, jack me off. See, look at look what's happening. <laughs> Anaconda, more like, and I kind of wish I never went to Australia. Let me guess. Next is gonna be like Outback Steakhouse and Bloomin' Onions or whatever. It's actually funny you brought up Outback Steakhouse. Why? It's where we took a uh, tambourine for his birthday. Who's tambourine? <laughs> Don't tell me. It's Dan's youngest child. Tambourine Marino? <laughs> yeah. You're telling me Dan Marino has a son named Tambourine? Yeah, I'm Tamburino. supposed to believe that? <laughs> For short, they call him Tambourino? <laughs> yeah, no. It's a nice name. You know what, fuck you, I'm Googling this shit. Dan Marino. Well, it's not gonna come up on Google, of course What not. do you mean? <laughs> Holy shit, he's got seven kids. Yeah, I know. We got Chloe Savater. Michael Joseph Marino, Daniel Charles Marino, mm -hmm. Nikki Lynn Marino, Leah Marino, Joseph Donald Marino, and Tambourine, tam tambourine Marino. What <laughs> the hell? And he, yeah, we went to Outback Steakhouse for his birthday. I cannot believe what I'm saying. Tambourine Marino. Tambourino. What the? It's not that weird, man. I Famous just, people name their kids weird things all the time. I know, it's just more like, I didn't expect anything you said to be true because I thought this whole Dan Marino thing was a big farce. No. You've really been hanging out with Dan Marino? <laughs> yes, you can You can say it's cool now. It is pretty cool. Yes. Three, two, one. The Kid Leroy. Two chains. This is Bobby Schmurda. Really? Oh, Bobby <laughs> You doing dance? Wow. And he's now that he can travel. That's so cool for him. Yeah, actually. that is cool. Yeah, you know, that's awesome. It's a sign of freedom. Big shout out to Bobby Schmurda, man. Yeah, a legend. Oh, man, here we go. This one, we've got an electric guitar, an inhaler, mm -hmm. an iPhone charger, mm -hmm. and hand sanitizer. Huh. Ah, this person's lame. <laughs> You know what? I have an idea for this one. Yeah, me too, for show. Which asthma inhaler is this one? It's the... I can't read it on there, but I, it might be albuterol. But it's a different case than I've ever had. I've never had that one before. Let's see yours. See, I'm still rocking with the cherry flavored one. Oh my gosh, this stuff tastes so good. Sometimes I don't even need like a hit, you know? I can see clearly now my asthma's gone. 
Three, two, one. Steve Lacey? I said Post Malone again. It is Steve Lacey. Nice. Oh, yeah. It's a guitar. It's just synonymous with yeah. Steve Lacey right now. That son of a bitch has asthma? I guess so. That's crazy. Battery just does it recreationally, like you. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. It's legal recreationally now, too. Mm -hmm. Albuterol. Some states. Not yeah. every state yet, but. Get out there and vote, by the way. It's on the ballot in a lot of states right now, so just get out there and vote. It's an important issue. Thanks, Riley. Mm -hmm. I don't usually use this platform for stuff like that, but while I have it, I might as well speak up, you know. Get out there and vote. Oh, also, um, legalize ketamine recreationally, too. Batteries, too. Batteries are legal. Oh, wait, no. Domestic batteries aren't. Everything's imported these days. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, so this is like a video game controller for your phone. You, like, hook your phone into it, and then you use the controller to play games on there. Mm -hmm. Stuffed Puffs Big Bites? <laughs> what are these? They're like Co dried coconuts. Oh, it's like cookies and cream little flavored puff snack. Blasts, yeah. Oh. oh. I've never had those. A gaming laptop. Up, and then Gucci Cologne? Yes, it's called Gucci Guilty Cologne. Gucci Guilty Cologne. Don't wanna wear that shit to court. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Grant loved that one. I mean, hey. The jury's still out on it for me. You laughed, motherfucker. I'll wait for the verdict to come in on whether that joke was funny. I'm lost. Smells like crime to me. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I'll be the judge of that. Whether that smells good. You'd never be a judge. You gotta go to college to be a judge. Oh, college educated people are super judgmental. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know, we hit the gavel a little too hard. I'm lost in the this way. Three, two, one. I put Lil Tecca. I put T Grizzly. This is Marshmallow. This Damn is Marshmallow. <laughs> T Grizzly be streaming. Wow, so he's just a massive gamer who likes little coconut snacks. I mean, that makes sense. You probably just drop them in the top of the mask <laughs> and it like spins down right into his m little eater. And wouldn't it be ironic if Marshmallow was an anti-masker? Yeah. I think that would be pretty funny. All right, well, that was another game of Guess the Rapper from the GQ Things They Can't Live Without. If you want us to play this game again, let us know down in the comments. Also, subscribe to our second channel. Please. And make sure you like the video, subscribe, all that stuff. We also would love to once again thank our sponsor for today's video, Manscaped. Manscaped. There's a link in our description with a code. Use code Dignan at checkout. You get 20% off and free shipping. Thanks again to Manscaped for sponsoring the video. Other than that, Diggy, you want to leave these wonderful people with some advice to leave or live their lives by? The secrets of our Lord have been long forgotten, but they hide in the shellfish of the sea. All right, this has been IMITV Love. We appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Cue that ukulele. I'm yours. Ooh, 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 ooh. Right here is where you end. <laughs> then end it. Jason Raz, Jason end Raz. It. I don't like to listen to jazz, but I like the beach and I like to play. And oh my God, it's a wonderful day. I am Jason Raz. Get him a. I am Jason Jazz. I'm wearing little tiny shoes. Oh God, <laughs> so you're gonna get through yeah. this one. Oh, you're back. You're good. Marshmallow's mellow mood. We should make him instead of Bob Marley. Yeah, get back to me on that one. <laughs> Stanley Steamer, it's your home cleaner. The carpet cleaner. Stanley Steamer, 1748. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Would you be a doll and lay in my closet for a few years? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> could you be a doll and rotate your head 360 degrees for me? Dance. I knew a guy who could do that. Really? Yeah. Was he an owl? Yeah. <laughs> oh. How'd you guess? Like, well, this makes sense, you know. Oh. And if one of you smartasses learned to play the kazoo, we can start a jug band. <laughs> <laughs>